Welcome everyone, I am Detective Watson. I will be in charge of your case for the time being. Let me see who we have here. Alexander Finch? Present, dear. How pleasant. Victor Frankenstein? At your order, Miss Watson. I will hold you to that. Queen Gertrude? Tis a pleasure, kind knight. Don't sweet talk me, Cecily Carter. An honor, miss. Pleasure. Thou hast the gall to be cruel to I, but kind to this wanton woman. I do as I please. Don't speak to me in that manner. Emily Gerson? Present here. So well mannered. Ophelia of Denmark? Ophelia? Pardon me, sir, for I sit next to the good Lady Emily. Aren't you just the sweetest thing? Thou shalt take Ophelia for such a joy. Thou hasn't known the maiden as long as I. Oh, she disappoints as well. My niece Scout is the same way. Young, naive, thinking she can run around with young boys. Ladies! <coughs> and Frankenstein. You are all here because you are all considered suspects. Why, well, I have never done a thing, Miss Watson. Whatever do you mean? Oh, but Miss Carter, you were there. All of you were there when the murder happened. <gasps> That's right. We were watching the whole entire time. We know who it is. We want that person to confess. If you know which one of us it is, why not just take that person away? Due to budget cuts, we can't afford a lengthy trial. This is our only method, so deal with it. Miss, I do hope you're not insinuating that I had anything to do. Or I, Miss Watson. Terrible accusations you throw around. What? It isn't me. My superior Mr. Holmes is the one who gathers you all here. Is anyone going to admit to this murder? No? Fine then. Let's go back to the scene of the crime. And where might that be? Well, that Cecily was here in this area. It was 5.30 earlier today. You were all sitting with someone well associated with the Pardon me, sir. You see, we found the dead and mangled body of King Hamlet. <gasps> <gasps> That's right. All of you guys were supposed to have a nice day and whatnot, but someone decided he had to go. Who was it? Could it have been you, Miss Gertrude? Thou blames I for the death of my beloved? You better believe that I do. You have all the motives. You're the classical gold digging wife. You never loved him. Thou spews lies. Didn't you marry his brother two months after his death? Claudius foretold of the good it did for Denmark. Oh, he did, didn't he? And you believed him. Miss Watson, I do declare you're treating her highness like dirt. You would know, wouldn't you, Alexandra? Are you insinuating something, Miss Watson? You are a racist. That was never a crime. It may not have been one back then, but that doesn't mean it isn't a moral crime, Alexandra. You took part in shunning the African American. It was one of the traits of my time. Do you blame me for society's mistake, Miss? No, Alexandra. I blame you for not being more like your brother, who followed his status quo all the while being a wholesome man. He taught his children to do that. He was a fool, like everyone else in Maycomb County. He should have just minded his own business and let everyone else settle their own problem. Miss, you seem quite angry at the good lady. What about you, Ophelia? You were... Wait a minute. You committed suicide. Why is that? This is sorrow for my beloved slave my father who now lays beneath the oh my you poor thing I feel so bad <laughs> it's okay sweetheart Cecily there's nothing really to report on here except that you're just crazy I resent that Miss Watson I am none more crazy than a one but but still, uh Child, that made no sense. That's what Uncle Jack said when I told him about my long romance with Algie. What type of girl art thou? Yes, one without a cranial. 
Oh, you would want that, wouldn't you, you necrophiliac? I beg your pardon? You know what I'm speaking about. You used to steal bodies from graves, you sicko. I am a god, and twice the man you'll ever be. I am a woman. Regardless, you would kill Hamlet for his body parts, wouldn't you? I no longer live that life. Aren't you just a cruel man? And you, Miss Emily? You murderer? So you know. Of course I know. You killed your own lover. Lover? He was my husband. If he didn't try to leave me, he would still be alive. There, there, the lady is a murderer. Of course she is. <gasps> but not for this one. She. So I am innocent. Well, yes, but that doesn't mean the rest of you are. Everyone gets a 20 minute restroom break. Who's got a good life? He's got two pretty children and a real nice wife. Yet he never seems quite satisfied. Well, I said I know what's on your mind, but you better think about it before you cross that line. The grass ain't always greener on the other side. Then what? What you gonna do when the new wears off and the old shines through? And it ain't really love and it ain't really lust. You ain't anybody. Where is Alexandria? Oh my, you slick murderer. She was murdered in the bathroom. That sly woman. Does that contain knowledge of the killer's identity? I do now. You see, this person has an agenda with both of these people. It is not. Yes. Anyway, this person wanted Hamlet out of the way due to her infatuation with her son. This true, they had to go! Ah, Watson, you got the confession. Good, good. You knew Captain Holmes? Of course I did. It was elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.